What's up everybody? It's 864. Back on the porch. On another chemtrailed on a chemtrailed field day, man. It's been kind of crazy around here already. They never give up. They never give up. So what's been going on, YouTube? Still kicking around. I'm just mind blown from the stuff I see daily, the, the mentality of folks. Um, everybody wants to talk politics, talk about what what candidate are you talk pulling for. I'm like asking the wrong person. <laughs> Number one, I don't vote. Because I don't believe in the system that we're blow, uh, voting for. I think it's corrupt as shit. The system is broken and been broken. So why should I waste my gas to go hit a button on a machine that I don't trust anyway? It's all rigged in my opinion. At least that's how I feel about it. It is what it is. The reality of life. That's a series I think I'm going to start doing on this channel. Um, the reality of life. The things you do and why you do it. The reality of why. The uh, the false reality that we live in is leaps and bounds worse than I thought. And it's leaps and bounds worse than I thought it was six months ago. Seems like it gets worse daily. Seems like a lot of people I talk to are are feeling the struggle of our economy, uh, the job situation, and and all that. Hell, I know I'm feeling it. Um, you know, I always thought one of those one of those uh, businesses that couldn't fail, but 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 they but they failed daily. Is a restaurant. The restaurant, you, you know, everybody's got to eat daily. 99.9% .9 of America, uh, maybe I'm off on that, but they all eat daily. So you would think the restaurant business must be pretty good. But since everybody has to eat, you know there's not a ginormous profit in it. This wouldn't allow that. And I tell you, brother, I've been working at a, at a cafe for the last year, and the struggle is real. So real, we closed the doors about a week ago, two weeks ago, somewhere around there. A, there's a list of problems. <laughs> a, nobody gives a shit. The cooks are going to do what they want to do. You can't tell them nothing. Um, people complain about the craziest things you've ever mind blowing. And by the time you pay the cooks, by the time you pay a cook decent money to actually try to give a fuck, your payroll, payroll taxes, sales tax. In Louisiana, on April 1st, our sales tax went to 10 and a half percent. <laughs> the reality of life. Do you stop it? Just stop and think about the reality of 10.5 sales tax on every dollar you spend. 10 and a half cents of that goes to taxes. A tenth. You gotta buy shit, you know what I mean? You gotta have, 
I mean, fuck, you got to buy stuff. There's just, you know, things that you need in life from from toilet paper to food. You know what I mean? You, it's going in one end and going out the other. You, you got to take care of both ends. You know what I mean? Same way as a restaurant. You got food coming in that's, yeah, you're buying it wholesale, but still it's fucking high. On the back end, you got to charge meat. Never stays the same. One week it it, close, it can be close to three bucks. But the next week it could be close to a dollar fifty. But I can't change the menu every week. Hamburger this week six ninety nine. Next week is eight ninety nine. I can't do that. Restaurants can't do that. The consumer is not gonna want that. So what do you do? You know what I mean? It's fuckery from step one. Close the cafe down and you're still paying people. You know what I mean? Two weeks later, you're still trying to get out of the son of a bitch. Insanity. The reality of life, man, you're paying, you're paying 10 and a half percent sales tax. When are the people going to stand up and say, you know what? We're going to pay 4%. And you, Mr. Government Person, you quit fucking spending so much. Quit spending uncontrollably. You, you know, I'm not telling y'all nothing. Fix your own freaking uh, budget. We got to fix ours. So y'all got to have one too. And on the small scale with your counties and whatnot, you know, it works decently, but there's fuckery in there too and, and scandal and uh, uh, under the table shit. I mean, it's a lose-lose <laughs> the whole way through. It really is the reality of life. Bust your ass. You make ten bucks. Let's just say, it. let's just use a number. You make ten bucks an hour. At the end of the day, by the time you get up out of your bed, you get in your vehicle. In my situation, uh, in a rural area, you got to have a vehicle, or, or it's a five-mile walk to work every day. And so you got to crank your truck. That costs gas, insurance. The twenty-eight dollars you spent to get a driver's license. A whole list of shit. That's before you put that so much in reverse or in drive to get where you're going. Tires outrageous. Fuel is decent now. But that's a whole nother video on the fuckery of oil and gas. You get to work, you make your 10 bucks an hour, you're working for a, a, a dude that you have zero respect for because he has zero respect for you or the rest of your, the employees. He's just trying to make a paycheck. You're just trying to make a paycheck. And you're trying to make it roll. And you're trying to go home at the end of the day without committing Harry Carey on everybody. At the end of that day, when you make ten dollars an hour, time you get fucked on the taxes of about forty percent. So that's almost half of that ten dollars that this one got broke down. And at lunch, you went and bought a hamburger at ten point five percent taxes. You ain't gonna make it. The reality is, you ain't gonna make it. And the system set up where you're not gonna make it. Unless you're making the 20, 30 salary, you know, big money. And then you're still, you're going to live beyond your means. You're going to owe every son of a bitch in the country. Nothing you have is going to be paid for. You're going to have three crying kids and diapers at the house that you're trying to pay for. 
a wife that tries to, that got, that's got to have her $900 coach bag, you know what I mean? Because her freaking co-workers got one and she's got to upgrade to beat her, you know what I mean? The reality of life, man, that's what I'm trying to get at, the reality of life. For what? For what? It's all. F your ba your 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 life is based around a false reality. And don't even get me until the dollar that you're getting up your ass for at five o'clock in the morning to get the kids ready, to get all your shit together, where you can put on your suit and tie and look nice. For the dollar that's not even real. Don't even. I'm not even gonna get into that on this video. The Federal Reserve and their printing to infinity system. Jesus, man. Today, I want you to sit back and I want you to think about the reality of your life. And the reality of your life around you. And ask yourself, what does it mean to you? Do your budget today. Figure out what your living cost is and what it should be realistically. <laughs> anyway, I've gone long enough. Some more of these videos are coming. The reality of life and how you live it. And are you really caught up in the American dream? Jay Thornton 64, I'm out.